real hazardous. About 45, 50 miles offshore right now. We got our trolling lines out. We're gonna troll some wahoo, maybe tuna, mahi. Later drop down, might go down to the bottom uh, fishing, see if we catch a grouper or snap or something like that. So pretty nice day so far. A little chop, kind of exactly what we want. Um, hopefully we'll catch some fish. It's been a really long time since we've got out of the water. It's been months. We're going stir crazy. I mean, I've seen guys go crazy from not fishing, you know, for too long. Mainly, uh, yeah, that guy. And me too. So we gotta get out. I mean, we gotta do something. We gotta fish, you know, for our sanity's sake. Alright guys, let's go see what we catch. I feel like this episode of Real Hazardous was brought to you by the color red. That's right. Postcard red. Yeah. Because red is easiest to see when you're floating at sea. <laughs> Ain't no doubt about it. What they say, Semper Paratus, I think, is the uh, Coast Guard mantra. So always prepared. Always prepared. Yeah. It's better when you got some of this reflective tape on the back. That way, if Chopper looking for you and shining a light and he can see you. Exactly. Alright, what rod do you want me to run out? Um, start with a rattle jet. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm using the Seymour map and my char water for the first time. Trolling for Wahoo. It's been pretty neat seeing what numbers mine are compared to what the Seymour is showing. It's kind of showing how some ledges run, kind of how I suspected, but also some different things. Um, our water temp jumped up about two degrees. I'm in some good bottom, so I think any moment now we could be in some some fish. We've been high speed trolling all morning with no hits, so we decided to slow down and switch over to bottom fishing. We we're pulling in the lines, and uh, we get to the last one, and we get a strike. Yeah, so he starts. Pulling the line out real slow. Yeah, I call a new guy on the boat and I said, come around here, you got a fish on. So the guy comes up there and he starts reeling it. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we're bringing in baits and uh, something grabbed that one. All right, gentlemen, we're getting close. All right. I'm like, man, this is this is biting funny. This seems like an amberjack or a barracuda, not a wahoo, you know. Exactly. We don't usually give them up for wahoo to somebody else. <laughs> we would have this is a new guy. So anyhow, um, we get the fish close, and uh, we see it's a wahoo, and I was like, man, it's a wahoo. And so I had the guy take the pole and walk to the boat, and I started handlining it in. Just grab that with two hands and start working towards the front of the boat. Did it come off? No, he's still there. He's got the gap. Who's going to do the gap? Real fast. Ow. See him? He's going to... You can turn the boat to the left there. Turn it to the left. Hurry. Hurry, hurry. 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 Yeah, other way, other way, other way. Oh, other shit. Way. You said left. Yeah, I'm looking the other way. I think it's a water, too, isn't it? It's a water. Keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going. Hey. Sorry. I was looking one way and you were looking the other way. I was. I, don't, I, I just run up here and you said turn the boat to the left. I wasn't even looking at the line. And I keep waiting for him to get closer, but you know, we were just pulling in lines, so we weren't ready. We didn't have our gloves on, and we thought it was a barracuda, so it kind of caught us off guard. And uh, it's kind of slipping as he's fighting back, and then he, he goes for the motors, you know. Right, I'm trying to pull him out. You, you know, you don't have a lot of room to work with. He finally turns the boat the right way, and we get him along there, 
And that German is able to gaff them. Remember, you lose a lot of uh, fish at the boat if you're not mm -hmm. careful with that gaffing and handling the line. You lose your break your line or run into the motor, it's all kind of stuff. Uh, first, uh, first, uh, hey, that was first. a weird bite. He didn't even. He didn't scream or nothing, did he? We uh, slowed down and, and we were reeling him in. And he just slowly kind of. Yeah. Like you when you come, I told you that big fish hit that, that right there. Go ahead, I got you. I wouldn't guess that to be a line with you, Jimmy. Nah, I thought it'd be a barracuda or something. Yeah. Caught him on the Zephyr 33 in the creek. Yeah. yeah. But you had to put your own line on him. You couldn't go with that. Uh, you got, you got a point. He took off a little bit? Oh, so you was already had the reel, had to, had half the line there. Yeah, on. and he kept taking stuff from me. That's why I was like. He watched you slow down. Yeah, he went in behind the boat when he did. Yeah, watched you slow down. You guys want to drop down and drive on the bottom there for a little bit? Whatever y'all want to do. Man, I'm riding with you, so whatever y'all call. Hey guys, trolling's been a little slow. We're gonna drop down on the bottom, see if we can catch some triggers or a million or grouper or something like that. Seems like it takes you about three days to get down there, don't it? Yeah. Uh, you should be right about on them. We should drift right uh, right over them. Looks like they're marking pretty good. So hopefully we'll get something. Let's we'll see here in a minute, won't you? Yeah, went Dad. No. Hey, I got cleaned out. I got several. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, bring them on. You almost got them there. Put them in the boat. There you go. Bring them on. Yeah, that was a keeper. We all five murdered. There we go. Clint got one. You got a good one, Clint? Eight nights. Nice. You got it, JJ. He ain't big. I think I've had him on for a while. I've just been drowning on every good one of them. <laughs> Wearing him down. Feel like a great white. Not a great white. Great white perch, huh? Fish back. Where the fish at, son? I don't know, man. Ain't getting no bites? Mine's in the box. Yeah, that's right. There he comes, and look at that grind. Did I, did I put it on him or what? I need to find me some polka dotted tights, and I'll come out here in the summertime and say, you special guest, Dusty Rhodes. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and I'll put yeah. on my big blonde wig. <laughs> That's a nice fish. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Turn around, macho man. Yeah. They're wine and dine. They're kings and queens. And I slept in the alley, ate pork and beans. <laughs> he said, he said, I do you. He said, totally Blanchard, I do you like the postman to put my stamp on you? He said. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Fine job. Yeah, this is a snafu, is what we call this in the business world. <laughs> technical term. <laughs> yes, a technical term. Snafu. Okay. Somebody hold one of these. We can. We got about one line too many here to hold on to, don't we? I need arms like octopus. You need to need to pan the camera over there at my bu my buddy out of South Georgia that was responsible for this. There you go. Are you ready? Can't help until I got mine. <laughs> Are you ready? All right, there you go. All right, go ahead and reel it in there. You ready? <laughs> I can't help it that your line got in the mouth. I just want to control your line. Are you ready? That's right. There control you your line. <laughs> Alright guys, we're at another spot, a little bit inshore. Looks like some good markings, maybe some bottom fish. A little windy so it's hard to anchor or you know, hold on the spot. See what I'm talking about? This to me looks like that could be even tuna. Oh well look at right there, right there. See it? Yeah, we're still wanna try it? Yeah. I mean Real quick, look look on the screen there. Oh yeah. They're waiting on it too, guys. You get a bite? Oh, yeah. There we go. Move a head shaker. <clears throat> Two of them, whatever it is. Check out these two vermilions, guys. Good. Heck yeah. A little better fish. If we could set, get set on those, we would struggle, I think. Looks like a shark might have followed it up. Oh, yeah? Yeah. There you go. Something got part of one, Jeremy. <laughs> That's a good fat fatty. That's a good one, Jeremy. There we go. How deep were you? I was just working my way up a little bit until I felt them start biting. So I don't know, probably 20 feet maybe off the bottom. There you go. Nice fat one. Yeah. Eleven more. There's. Oh, they tried to get it. They go wahoo down there. You think? A uh, shark. I guess. You got that one. He's back on fire every time. He ain't got the group. Ever since Clint stopped tangling his line, he's been catching fish. <laughs> That was, that, was, that was a cheap shot, wasn't it, Clint? I know I had his best up. And I ain't caught a fish since I got up. He come around here. There you go. I mean, he wearing them out. The big one was too. Remember you got one? I think I got one. All right, we need two more, guys. I'm a double header man over here pulling it out for us. Guys, we are one more away from our limit of Vermilion Snapper. We'll lay them in. How many what more do we need? One. Let's lay them down. Whatever you got, and we'll see. The, we'll go with the biggest. Yeah, pretty decent. Yeah. Oh, there you go. You might have the winner there, Jeremy. All right, guys, we got our limit of a million snapper. Very cool. All right, guys, 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. It's crazy how we caught the wahoo. Did not think that was a wahoo. They didn't make the crazy run. We slowed down. We weren't going fast. I thought it might have been an amberjack or barracuda, but definitely grateful for the wahoo. Had a great time catching Vermilion Snapper as well and learned a little bit about using the Seymour mapping. So, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.